welcome to the Basics of Spectroscopy video series. Let's talk about molecular term symbols. Like atomic term symbols, molecular term symbols provide a succinct notation for summarizing the angular momenta of a molecular system. The superscript gives the spin multiplicity, which is equal to 2s plus 1, where s is the total spin angular momentum quantum number. The central term symbolizes lambda, which is the quantum number describing the projection of the total orbital angular momentum onto the internuclear axis. For lambda equal to 0, 1, 2, and 3, we have sigma, pi, delta, and phi terms. The subscript gives omega, which is the quantum number that describes the projection of the total angular momentum onto the internuclear axis. Omega also describes how lambda couples with sigma, the quantum number that describes the projection of the total spin angular momentum onto the internuclear axis. Let's construct the term symbol that describes the ground state of nitric oxide. First note that filled molecular orbitals contribute zero to the total spin and orbital angular momentum projection quantum numbers. Since we are only concerned with the valence 1 pi star electron, the system is described by a total spin angular momentum quantum number of 1 half. Thus we are expecting doublet terms. The orbital angular momentum quantum number is 1 for a pi electron, so the term must be a doublet pi. To determine the range of allowed omega values, we apply a numerical series which has limits of lambda plus sigma and the absolute value of their difference. Here we see that doublet pi 3 halves and doublet pi 1 half terms are possible. Hun's rules tell us that it is the doublet pi 1 half which is lower in energy. I hope that you found this short video on molecular term symbols useful. See you next time.